I'd like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth, the one and only. Baltimore's <laughs> MLK. You know, a lot of people weren't with MLK. They, they, they celebrate the holiday now, but wow. Heber Brown, Reverend Doctor, how are you? I'm good, man. How you doing, brother? Good, Doctor? good. What's good. the word, brother? Voter oh. empowerment. See Anthony Muse inside the doors, Terror Cafe, yeah. 25th of St. Paul on a Saturday evening. Man, it feels good out here. Not just in the atmosphere, I feel good in this event. I'm excited for uh, Senator Muse. I'm excited for his campaign. And just the energy and the love that he's getting from, from people in Baltimore. Well, not everybody. I mean, I heard there was a radio show on WEAA 88.9 FM where he did yeah. not get the support yeah. of otherwise important people. Yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, it's unfortunate. Why is he in Fume, they that, say? Uh, on We Educate African Americans, WEAA, that, that, uh, that brother Kwaisi and Fume is, is, uh, seems a bit uh, timid, uh, doesn't want to support the brother for whatever reason. His reasons are his own. We're not talking about Clarence Thomas. We're talking about C. Anthony Muse. Exactly, exactly. Uh, totally brother, different. Uh, brother Kwaisi has shown over the years that he has uh, he, he walks a different line sometimes, and, and this is one of those times where he's walking a different way. But I'm just thankful for the people who are showing up and saying we are behind the brother. If Brother Kwaisi is not behind the brother, then we are behind the brother. But, but this excited. is a qualified African American, you would agree? Definitely agree. I mean, not not just his resume on paper and his bio on paper, because we all can make that pretty. But in terms of his his real service to our community, in terms of his independence in Annapolis his, and his convictions, he's a man who lives by his convictions and is connected to his community. I'm really thankful and excited. And even though Brother Carl E.C. is not in support of, of, of Senator Muse and his campaign, I'm thankful for the other elders and the other big brothers like yourself and so many others whose judgment we have trusted on so many other issues. And when I see the elders and big brothers and big sisters and mamas of the city giving love to Senator Muse, and I trusted their judgment on other things, of course I do my own homework on Senator Muse, but that, that vote of support by the elders means a lot to me as a young brother coming up in the city as well. And so even though Brother is not there, there are many other uh, uh, true elders and true mamas and babas in our community who are behind this brother, and I'm excited for them. Redistricting, is that an issue in our community? Uh, we see it on the congressional level. Of course, there was a lawsuit that failed against the state of Maryland, but also here on the state legislative level as it relates to the state districts, uh, among others who were uh, peeved include State Senator Dolores Kelly out there in Baltimore County, Liberty Road. Not to mention, uh, and that's in res with respect to the governor's congressional and the governor's state legislative redistricting map, but it's also a Baltimore County uh, map by Kevin Caminets that doesn't seem to be very favorable, again, of that very same Liberty Road community. Black folk, yeah. majority black, watered down, diluted in terms of voter empowerment. Your thoughts? Exactly, yeah, and the concern is real, it's, and it's a real issue. It needs to be addressed. I'm thankful. Uh, Senator Muse, when I first met with him uh, a couple of months back, he was speaking on the importance of the issue. Uh, and speaking on the importance of this whole redistricting plan and how our community is going to be negatively impacted by it. And I thank God for a brother who, is, uh, who not only speaks against issues, but he has a level of, uh, of, of autonomy to really galvanize a community. Of course, it's known that he's a pastor of, of church down in PG County and just thankful. Uh, we we got to, when we do a study of our history, for those leaders who come from the bosom of the black church, they oftentimes can operate at a level of autonomy that's greater than those who are elected officials. And so with Senator Muse, we got a double whammy of a powerful brother because he has the, the legislative acumen to really speak to issues. But then when he steps, uh, doesn't want to follow the line and toe the line of those in Annapolis and those in Congress eventually, you know, he has the power of the black church and the communities behind him to say, uh, that when we were not able to depend on elected officials, it was the black church to help give some strength. And for all its qualms and for all its foibles and fumbles, the black church and many black churches are, and pastors like myself are still prepared to, to line up behind leadership like Senator Muse and say, whenever you need us, call us and we'll be there. That's on the redistricting issue and many other issues that, that Senator is going to bring to bear. Well, Reverend Dr. Heber Brown, we, we know you're very busy, but we appreciate you. We had to get something from you for 2012. Thank you, brother. Happy New Year to you. Yes, sir. How can people uh, stay abreast of uh, your work? Uh, you have a blog? Sure, sure. Check out my blog, faithinactiononline.com, faithinactiononline.com. You'll see my work and you can reach out to me there. Good deal.
Good Thank you, man. Appreciate yes, you. Keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth.